all right so welcome again to military guna tv i am your host maria deka so um <laughs> all right so i intended that i should do this a political way but i'm like no no this is not going to be the optimistic military guna the the the, pop, the pessimist this is more going to be someone who's um I think this is going to be a rant. I think this is going to be a rant. This is the review show, but I think it's going to be a rant. The reason why it took so long to release this video is because I, I wanted to cool down just a little bit. And my watch along, I tried my best to keep my cool. I tried my best to keep my cool. And I'm telling you, it was difficult. Now, let's start off with the game. Pretty much a back four. Going to the back four, um, we're going to start off with the team selection. Um... We have um, Amal Knight in goal. That was a surprise. Ricardo Thomas, a, a, a left wing back. Left back, that was another surprise. Um, right back, we have Javian Brown, Damian Lowe, and Richard King. Um, this as a centre-back pair. And in the midfield, we have Speedy and Kevin Lambert. Kevin Lambert did most of the clean-up work. Then we have Tyreek Maggie as well to complement a midfield three. In the attacking third, we have Leon Bale on the right-hand side. Otto Freiburg by Grave up top. And we also have Junior Flemings on the left hand side so that compromise or that equates the entire reggae boys team let's start off from how the game proceeds initially let me make this clear the referee was crap the referee was total crap not saying this to excuse the reggae boys performance but i'm saying it was evident that the referees were <laughs> going in favor i should say just that they were going in favor anyways no <clears throat> let me make this clear that performance i know that the team was below par it wasn't the proper it was not strong enough squad but that performance was one of the worst performance i have watched one of the worst football game i've ever watched in, in a long long time i have seen jpl games played way way better than that and people beat the JP, jpl how, how poor it was and i've seen i have seen jpl um, um matches play with higher quality than that that was one of the worst football game i've ever sit down and what it was atrocious it was diabolical no not saying that the reggae boys alone will play bad both teams poured played so poorly missed passing players out of um out of position players not pick, picking up the right channel um poor tackles poor challenges um just a, a whole chaos of bad bad um performances right across the board we're going to look at the stats let's, have, let's, let's let me run through the stats so this is the stats um pans up total shots jamaica had 13 and uh, Suriname had 12 Jamaica had three, um, two on target, Suriname have four on target. Possession, Suriname 53% possession, Jamaica 47. Jamaica made a total of 337 passes, while Suriname made 363. Not far in various, Jamaica passing accuracy was 74%, while Suriname was 78%. 18 fouls by the Jamaicans and nine by, by the Surinamese. Um, we got received two yellow cards which is appropriate we created 18 fouls double the amount of foul by, by the Suriname team um we were caught offside twice and once and they had eight corners we had five in the group standings at this moment Jamaica is on the top of the group with just one point and that's just because of the alphabetical order just because anyways let me move on to individual players now let's go on to individual players I'm gonna have a look at the lineup let's go on to I am not focusing on, 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 on the Suriname team. I'm going to look at the, at the Jamaican team. Now. <clears throat> all right, so <laughs> so let's get all right, let's let, let, let's get it. So um, let's start off with Amal Knight. Fair enough, he looks good, but with playing out the uh, playing out from, from the back, but. The one time or the few time he came under pressure, he crumbled. The one time he came under pressure, he crumbled. Yes, he made some good saves, but the saves that he made weren't a case of 
dangerous actions. I'm trying to remember one save that Amal Knight made, which was at, you would equate to a dangerous action. No, not going to go, go down hard at Amal Knight, because most of those shots that Surinam had was shot from way out, some poor shots, some block shots, so the defense was quite good. The defense was quite good. No, Javian Brown, a lot of mispasses, miscontrol, varies of inconsistency throughout the game some poor challenges very very poor challenges rash and aggressive challenges which is unnecessary ricardo thomas ricardo you need to temper your run you are all over the pitch you're not in the right position quite so often you are you have you have been caught eye quite so often and it makes the it makes your performance look way are way worse than it actually was we are worse so not a good performance from ricardo thomas damien low i would say one of the one of the, the persons on the pitch i would say had an okay game um he had quite a, he played so much long ball when are you going to take those long balls out of your game when will you take those long ball out of your game when will you take the long ball out of your game that is a huge huge problem a huge problem richard king as a youngster you look outstanding today i think he was actually man of the match i believe richard king would have been would have gotten man of the match he was superb let's go into the midfield lambert fairly good in the first half but fade away in the second half lambert fade away inside of the second half hey I'm telling you the, 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 the big names them who we're supposed to have expect things from. <laughs> I'm getting to you guys. Lambert fade away in the second half. He had a pretty good first half, but he fade away in the second half. So for Lambert, I can go hard on Lambert in regards to him fading away in the second half, but he had a good first half. Um, he didn't control the, the midfield in the second half of the game. He actually, as I said, fade away. He didn't help out the defense. He didn't help out the midfield. I'm not sure what was there doing a lot of tackling, but nothing else. Yes, that could be because Suriname had a little bit more of the possession, but they didn't have that much possession to, to, to play us off the, par off the park. Speedy. Speedy plays so much back pass. Back pass here, back pass there, back pass here, side pass there, side pass here, back pass there. We need to advance the ball. You cannot consistently play in back and side, back and side. When are you going to advance the ball? Yes, you are working hard in the midfield. But when are you going to take up that ball, find some space, find some channel, and try to break the pass in those channels? Try to just disrupt the defense. Do something. Not a good game as well. Tarek McGee, you look, you look really well in the Catalonia game. You look stand out in the Catalonia game. But my problem is, when you have the ball... You can see flashes. We consistently see flashes. That is what we are, we are seeing. Flashes. But when you don't have the ball, we're playing with 10 players. You have no defensive bone in your body. That is something that you need to work on. I'm not saying that they didn't defend. But the level of defending that, that is required from you was not there. It was not there. Another, poor, another player with another poor performance. You cannot depend on flashes and then no, we don't have the ball. Is that, that's just not good enough. That is most definitely not good enough. That covers the midfield. Let's go up top. Atafai Bragirv. Not running the channels. You need to utilize the channels. Run the channels. You need to run the channels. Quite so often I see you and Lee and Bailey occupying the same spaces. Occupying the sp same spaces. A few times the cross come inside of the box. You're not there. I saw it. Flemings did it. Um, uh, Magee did it. Come on, um, Kenry Powell did it. Um, Kenry um, Campbell did it as well. You're not in the box. Another poor performance. You hustle, yes, without a doubt. That is a given. That should that should be a given. That is bare minimum. What about the others of the game? Yes, another factor is poor, poor. Um, what do you call it now? <laughs> well, they didn't they didn't provide anything for him. 
They didn't give they didn't give him anything to work with. But in the same sense, it was a poor performance. Quite a few times, heavy touches. Um, yes, quite a few older players. Well, so it was gen it was generally another poor performance. Let's go to Juno Flemings. Non-existent. Hey, Juno Flemings scored. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Juno Flemings scored. But what about the rest of the game? What about the other 94 minutes? Of, what about the other 93, 93 minutes of the game? What about then? What happened during that time period? If he didn't score, you would have... I'm telling you, man. So, for the goal that Juno Fleming scored, people would say, okay, yeah, he can ease up off Juno Fleming. That, no. If you take away that goal, that was a subpar performance from Juno Fleming. A bang average performance. And we would have expected a lot more from Juno Flemings. A lot more. I said earlier in the show that he has, he has actually improved. But that improvement was not shown tonight. It was not shown. Um, next, um, next player. The famous Leon Bailey. The man himself. Leon Bailey got the opportunity to win the game for us. <laughs> Leon Bailey opted to take a little swivel. You know, a star boy thing. Yeah, look a star boy thing. Unacceptable. That performance from Liam Bailey, unacceptable. No, I'm not sure if you're, 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 you're fully able to play 90 minutes of football. You were out there for that long, in which I don't think that, I do think that, I don't even notice. I do think that I put that on Paul Hall. He shouldn't have kept you out there for that long. 90 minutes of football. And you got the opportunity. You didn't provide much. Not even, the, not even on the set pieces. Nothing at all. That was a poor, poor performance from Leon Bailey. Very poor for performance from Leon Bailey. Unacceptable. When will you guys step up? You guys are the big names. When will you guys step up to the plate and showcase your quality? Showcase your quality. Many of us are, are as fans out here defending you guys. No, it's now your time to defend yourself. Showcase your quality. That was poor performance. Other players, Kenrod Campbell came on. Um, you see flashes. Um, he did some crazy stuff as well, like that crazy, crazy slide tackle. Poor. Really, really poor. Um, <sighs> Anyways, I won't even get into the other substitutes. Uh, Paul Hall. That was a poor performance. And there's no way I can beat the players and say the players played really, really poor, poorly. And you sit there and take no blame. And that was a, a disjointed, disorganized, dysfunctional team. You must fix it. You must get it right. I'm not saying we should be playing like Barcelona or playing like Brazil. All I'm saying is we at least can play some football. We can at least try to play some football. Yes, I see the team trying to play it from the back. Trump did not go long. You can see Damien Lowe um, going against his own natural nature of going long and trying to play out the ball from the back. But I need, we, we, when he went down a goal, when, we went, when we went, the game was equalized, I'm here watching and you can definitely see that the team started to rush. They started to do things fastly. You are the coach. You're supposed to settle the team at that point in time. You're telling the team, keep a calm head. We will get by the result. The team looked disorganized. We looked disjointed. Fingers started to point in. We don't want that. Paula fixed up as well. So I'm telling everyone. That was a piss poor. That was a, a crap of performance. That was horrible. That was terrible. That was really, really horrendous. That was bad. Bad. Really, really bad. You cannot watch a game with so much mispass. Passing accuracy at 70%. That is poor. That is poor. That is really, that's like some scrappy um, water, log, football field type of thing. That was really, really poor. And we have so much talent. It was on both sides. On both sides. Jamaica was really poor. And I expected a lot better, a lot more from Jamaica team. Anyways, people, I won't go any further. You know what? I'm going to leave this on, I'll leave this for another time. Until next time, people. Military Guna TV, Military Guna Sports TV, MG Sports TV, people. Like, share, and subscribe. If, you, if there's something that you don't like about what I said, if you disagree with me, go inside of the comment section and tell me right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about that, that, that performance? What do you think about that game? Until next time, people, we're out.